Hey everybody, Tanya from Shooting Star SVG back and today I am going to discuss how to resize your images in Canva. So if this is your first time here on the channel, go ahead and click on like and subscribe below as that does keep me motivated to continue making these videos so that way you can grow your business and change your life. I had recently posted a video on how to size your digital printables to sell on Etsy and other uh, digital download platforms. And I received a comment yesterday about resizing images in Canva. And I said, I will make a video on that. So y'all can see how that works. Um, because I did go through aspect ratios in the chart, didn't really go over how to resize. Um, so I will walk you through it in Canva. Keep in mind, I will be using the pro version. And then at the tail end of the video, I'll go through how to do this um, with the free version. I do highly recommend the pro version because it is very quick and simple to do. And you'll see that as I go through the video, um, it is $12.99 per month. Um, if you're paying monthly or $9.99 a month, if you bill annually, and I have a link in the description box for y'all to try that free for 30 days. So you can see how that resizing works. Um, but we'll go ahead and jump right into it. Um, like I said, we're going to go through how to resize in the pro version and then go through how to resize in the free version, which is a little bit more time consuming, but doable. So I'm going to go on over to my computer screen and we'll get started. Um, I went ahead and just created a quick little design here in an 18 by 24 size poster. And so we're going to want to resize that, right? So I'm going to flip over to the digital uh, paper aspect ratios, and I will post a link to this in the description box um, where you can go on my website and download this. And basically, you're looking to create these four ratios here. Your 11 by 14, your four, four to five ratio, your three to four ratio, and your two to three. Um, like I said, I have already created the 18 by 24. So I need the 24 by 36, the 16 by 20, and the 11 by 14. Okay, um, not too bad at all. So we will go on over to Canva. And again, I have created this in an 18 by 24. And in the pro version of Canva, you will see this resize button. It will not have the crown next to it with the pro version. Um, you go ahead and click on resize. Now, um, you want to make sure that you're set in inches. And basically what you will do is do 16 by 20. Okay. And then you can add another one and we're going to do 11. Whoops. I'm not in inches. 11 by 14 and then click on the third one and go to inches and do 24 by 36. I'm just going to go back and make sure 24 by 36, 16 by 20, 11 by 14. I have all three of those there and I'm going to go ahead and click on copy and resize. Now you do need to make sure that you have your pop-up blocker turned off or your web browser will block this. Um, so make sure that's turned off. You will get the warning if you try and do not have that turned off. So these are going to go ahead and load up and think, which will take a few minutes depending on your internet speed and power of your computer. But you can see here, um, it is already working. That literally took me what 30 seconds to type in my size ratios and start getting this going. So now I have a 16 by 20 inch and this placement looks good to me. I have a, um, 11 by 14 inch. This placement also looks good to me and a 24 by 36 inch. And this placement also looks good to me. Um, if you notice a little bit more white space than you uh, care for, you can always, um, resize that. Okay. So there we go. We have four different sizes. Now we are hot to trot. We are ready to save our file and move on and get it up on Etsy and get going with those sales, right? It's exciting. I'm excited. I'm excited. Okay. <laughs> this right here is super, 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 super important. Okay. I cannot stress this enough. Canva only exports in 96 DPI for JPEG and pink. That means you can't get the print quality that you need for Etsy. So to make sure that you're getting the print quality you need for Etsy, you need to print to PDF, and this will give you a 300 DPI quality print. Okay. These are larger file sizes. You can just upload the PDFs because people can use the PDF to print on their home computer or in any other platform. A lot of people provide JPEGs 
for their digital downloads, I recommend PDF because it's a vector base. You're not losing any quality. Yes, the file sizes are a little bit bigger, but you will guarantee that your customers get the quality that they need to print every time. If you want to go JPEG, you can do that, but you're still going to have to print to PDF and then convert to JPEG. Okay. So to do that, you're just going to go to over here and I'm sorry, and you're going to click on download and you're going to open this up and you're going to make sure you click on that PDF print. Okay. And if you want to include uh, crop marks and bleed, you can go ahead and do that. And I do recommend that uh, when you're printing and then go ahead and click download and bam. And then you'll have to go and do that on the same thing on the other three designs. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and log out of my pro version. I'm going to log back into the free version. I'm going to show you what this looks like on the free side. Okay. So now I am in the free version of Canva. And if you notice right here, the resize has a little crown next to it, which means you can't use that function that we just used. So to resize, you're going to click on file. And you can see that this is an 18 by 24 inch right here. And you're going to click on create new design and you will click on custom dimensions. First, I'm going to copy this. You will click on custom dimensions. Make sure that you are set into inches. We're going to do 24 by 36. Create new design. Wait for it to load up. Paste our image in, go to file, create new design, custom dimensions, go to inches, and then we're going to do 16 by 20, create new design, and we're going to paste our design in, and then we're going to go to file, create new design one more time custom dimensions, 11 by 4, oops, forgot to change it to inches, silly me, 11 by 14, create new design, paste that in, and then there we go, okay, now you have your four, so that's how you accomplish that in the free version, a little bit more time consuming, as you can see, with the paid version uh, for Canva Pro, you can um, do it with one click of a button by adding all three of your dimensions in there and clicking resize and boom, they're all there. Then you just go through and download those, print to PDF, print PDF, not JPEG or ping because it'll be too low quality and off you go. So that's all I got for you guys. Again, I highly recommend that Canva Pro. Um, you can get a 30 day free trial by clicking in the link in the description box. And if you got something out of this video, go ahead and click on like and subscribe below as that keeps me motivated to keep making these videos for all you beautiful people. So that way you can grow your business and change your life. Um, and let me know if you're still listening in the comments below, if you use Canva to design your products or if you use uh, something else, I'd like to know what you're using to design your stuff with. So uh, with that, I will catch you all in the next video. Have a great day.